Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Kakodash, double honor to the apostles and elders of GMS who rule well, teach well, being a great example to his younger brothers, and peace and blessings, salutation of the hopeful elect out there pushing his word and truth and in sincerity across the four winds in the name of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, pushing to get up out of here. Shalom to the hopeful elect, the believers, the listeners whom have came back to the obedience of the scriptures through faith in Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. And what I want to get into today, all right, real quick, you know, just a news update, you know, something real heavy, you know, that's, you know, that's on the brink, all right, and um, there's breaking news dealing with new federal rule to require businesses with 100 plus employees, all right, to mandate the max, so all businesses with 100 plus employees to mandate max and that's a all right federal rule that they're going to speak on more than likely tonight all right and and i want to read on it says this is president joe biden will announce on thursday that federal government employees and contractors will now be required to be fully all right vanessa against all right the thing and the occupational safety and health administration will create a rule for private businesses with a hundred or more employees to require their employees, employees, all right, to be maxed or undergo weekly testing according to the senior administration officials. Biden will lay on, out his new six party strategy to combat the Delta, all right, the Delta variant in remarks at 5 p.m. Eastern. So. This could be real heavy, man. You know, all private sector employers, you know, anything that's over 100 employees will be, all right, it will be uh, mandated that they take, you know, the juicy juice, man. All federal workers, you know, so you brothers, you know, you few sisters that work, you know, in, in the federal, you know, it will be wise to tune in tonight to see what's going on, see what the damn devil is talking about, man. But we here, all right? We in the time where we gonna be tested, man. You know, and we built for this. If we're a part of the elect, we are built for these times, man. And this is why, you know, the, the spirit has been pushing the energy of detaching and faith, you know, and rejo rejoicing in what's written, you know? So it, uh, it will behoove us all to try to catch, you know, what this devil is gonna say you know, tonight at five. Now, I just want to get these couple of precepts, you know, because this is the times we are in. You know, this is First Peter 1 and 6. It says, Wherein ye greatly rejoice, though now for a season, if need be, ye are in heaviness through manifold temptation, that the trial of your faith being much more precious than gold that perish, though it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. You know, so this is a trial of our faith. You see, we're being proven. You see, look at what's going on as a, um, an opportunity to prove, you know, our steadfastness in Yahweh Shah, to prove that we're unmovable, to prove, you know, that we're worthy of salvation, of being saved. You see, because we're in the midst of, of, of a trial, man, of our faith, man, you know. So prayers going up for you brothers and sisters in, you know, the federals, all right, that's um, work with the feds, you see, and anyone else that's affected by these mandates, any, you know, member of the whole elect that's affected by these mandates, all right. So when you go to First Peter 4 and 12, it says, Beloved, thinking not strange concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you as though some strange thing happened unto you. Yeah, we, we've we been telling you it's going to get uncomfortable for us, man. We've been telling you, all right, that we're going to be in some scrapes. You know, we're going to lose. That's why hey, the Spirit been pushing, prepare to lose. You know, prepare to have the mindset to lose on this side and win everything on the next, man. You see? And eventually the standard going to kick in. And eventually we're going to be taken care of, man. You know, it ain't always going to be, you know, <laughs> we scrambling and hustling and bustling. No, a standard going to eventually kick
kick in, man. Favor gonna kick in from on high, but we gotta go through the straight gate to get there. All right. It said, and this the mind frame to go into, go into it. You know, so lucky for the noise. You know. And it says, um, but rejoice in as much as you are partakers of your Yahweh's suffering, that when His glory shall be revealed, ye may be glad also with exceeding joy. Yeah, it's gonna feel good to know that we went through the suffering with Yahweh Shai, and when He comes in His glory, we're changed at the twinkling of an eye, man. You always gotta throw in a bigger picture when you talk about the trial. You know, you gotta throw in the glory. Cause that's what how you how shot talk. He would talk about the suffering, but he was always talking about rulership as well. You see, cause the suffering that comes before the rulership, and we're here. All right, we're here. Ain't no turning back. Ain't no timeouts. We here, man. You know, that's why the grace period was meant for us to become all right faith based. You know, so Lord will, you know, you brothers and you futures were edified. You know, just a quick heads up. You know, um, like I say, make sure that we can, if we, if we can, watch it tonight, see what this damn devil is talking about. And like I say, man, it don't take number one announcement from the White House, and it changes everything, man. You know, one announcement from the White House changes everything. You know, Shalom.